Hi children, happy, happy Easter. It's teacher Becky again. How are you today? Are you excited? Have you called your friend? Is your neighbor at yours or at you at your neighbor's home? How are you doing? It's a great, great day. And guess what day it is, everyone? It's Easter. Yes, it's Easter and it's time for celebration. We are going to be learning, remembering some things. But before we go, let us start with a word of prayer. Loving Father, thank you for today. Thank you for all the children watching. Thank you for everyone that is listening in. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you for our parents. Thank you because today is a special day. It's a day Jesus rose from the dead. And because he rose from the dead, we rose with him. Thank you because you've given us freedom in everything we do. Thank you because you've given us joy, liberty, peace, and all good things. Thank you because even as our lesson starts, we are going to learn and we shall remember. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we get started in our lesson, we are going to get up and do praise and worship. We are going to worship God. Yay, everyone get up. Let us do praise and worship. Remember, we are also going to give. The numbers will be going on your screen. If you have it in cash, you give it to your teacher or your auntie or your parent or your guardian, anyone. Now, get up and let's dance together.
it. Happy Easter to you all. Happy Easter to your teacher, to your friend seated next to you, to your dad, to your to your friend, to your auntie, to your brother, to your everyone. Happy Easter. I hope you are enjoying your time. I hope you're enjoying the season. I know that some of you are on holidays. So wherever you are, I hope you are having a great time this season. Happy, happy Easter from everyone at Harvest Kids. All your teachers at all your, your locations, from all your aunties, from all your friends this side. Happy Easter. We've been learning about Easter this season. We've been learning about different things that have been happening, the different things around the Easter period. We've looked at Palm Sunday. I hope you have. We looked at Good Friday. We've looked at Easter. And which is this season today, if you're watching this on Sunday, tomorrow, if you're watching this on Saturday, if you're watching this on Monday, yesterday, whatever, it's Easter and I hope you're happy, I hope you're excited, I hope you're celebrating, I hope you're wishing one another a happy Easter. And what is Easter? What is Easter? What do we remember Easter for? Do you know what Easter is? Do you know? I want you to whisper in your friend's ear or tap your friend and tell them what you know Easter for. I am giving you a minute, I am counting. What do you know Easter for? What is Easter Sunday? Uh -huh. Tell us. Are you telling? Are you talking? Are you telling your friend? Uh -huh. What has your friend said? I can't get you, but share with your friend, share with your teacher. What has, what has your friend said? What do they know about Easter? What do they remember about Easter? I hope you've told your friends, I hope you've told them what you think Easter is about or what you remember Easter Sunday being about. Guess what? It's the day when Jesus rose from the dead. Yay! He rose! He rose from the dead. It's also called Resurrection Sunday. Whatever you know it as Easter, Resurrection Sunday, it's the day Jesus, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. We've been learning and we saw that on Palm Sunday is the day Jesus rode on a donkey and entered Jerusalem and people that love him were all over besides the road swinging their palm leaves laying them down for him so that he and his donkey can walk over them so he entered into Jerusalem then we also saw that on Good Friday is the day when Jesus died on the cross for us Good Friday Good Friday it's a Friday that day when Jesus died they killed him, put him on the cross, put nails through his hands, through his feet, put a thorn of a crown of thorn on his head, pierced him on the sides, and he died. We call it Good Friday because do you all know why we call it Good Friday even if it's the day that Jesus died? Do you know? You don't know? You know? It's because it's good. Jesus died for us. And because he died, you and I, children of God, are free. You and I are free from sin. You and I have liberty. We have freedom because Jesus died in our place. You know when your friend decides to take over what you would have suffered? For example, if you have no pencil in class and you're doing a test and they have a pencil and your friend decides to give it to you, that means they have chosen you over them. So because Jesus chose us over himself by dying on the cross for, for us, we now live like him, we live for him, we live in freedom, in total liberty, like there is nothing that can distort, distort you and I because Jesus died for it all. That is why we call it Good Friday. It's a good, good Friday for us, even if Jesus died on that day. And then we come to Easter Sunday, and this is the day when Jesus rose from the dead. He rose, like you know when someone dies, I don't know if you've seen someone who died and they rose, but Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He died on Good Friday and then after three days, the tomb opened, he was out, Mary Magdalene had come, she realized he's not there, she runs off, tells the disciples, tells everyone she could tell that Jesus is not in the tomb. And then later everyone realizes Jesus had risen, the angels witness to everyone that he's risen Jesus appeared to people and he was risen guess what because he rose you and I rose together with him and we share in all good things that he died for and that is why we celebrate Easter because of Easter Sunday we live victorious because of Easter Sunday we live in total victory over everything the world can ever throw against you 
why so i also know that there is there are some of you out there that could be watching and you don't know jesus because you're wondering what is jesus who died he died and rose is that even possible it's possible jesus died and rose and that is why we celebrate because he is alive today and if you don't know or you're not yet a child of god you don't know what these things are it's okay today is a great day to get born again what other day apart from easter so i'm going to repeat these words after me and guess what you will be a child of god yay say dear lord thank you for today i believe that jesus died and he rose again today i give you my life take it and do something significant with it in Jesus' name amen if you say that prayer you are a child of god welcome to the family of god yay you're a child of god today you've been born again and if you are if you just got born again or if you're not part of a mission or community also a children mc call the number on your screen tell your teacher tell your parent tell your friend i need to join a children's mc this is a space where you find other children you pray together you play together you eat together you grow together and go on mission together as children of god in your community until next time happy easter bye